1407 Great Malkin Lane. This is the living memory of the X-Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. X-Force 47. Written by Ben Percy with Daniel Procuto and Guru FX as a color artist. Okay, we're in the middle of the, their version of Fall of X. And this entire time, X-Force has been trying to get themselves back up because they've been punched in the face <laughs> repeatedly. Um, this is, oh, so essentially this is X-Force looking for a new home. Uh, we got Sage, uh, Wolverine, other Wolverine, uh, Kid Omega, Black Tom, Omega Red, and, and that's about it. Everybody who's, you know, worthy of being mentioned anyway. We get some guest stars in here, so don't even, don't even trip. <clears throat> I'm going to say this right now. Ben Percy hates, hates intelligence. Like, the way he did Beast is so disrespectful. But he makes Wolverine into, like, a almost a saint. But he's an asshole. Like, he's yelling at, at Kid Omega because he's telling him that... Um, I'm not, uh, my powers are still kind of, kind of wonky. He's like, get it together. And I'm like, bro, shut up. Uh, but X-Force, they ended up creating like this greenhouse, this little, it, okay, it's a safe house. It's, it's an X-Force safe house so they can, so they're not bothered. And it's the middle of, like, Russia. Like, really deep in there. Uh, Kid, Kid Omega, he does his thing on here. We get we get to find out some people who are actually still alive. Like, North Star and Aurora. And uh, Fang. And, like, we see... Cool, I guess. Cool. And, but just when they think everything's good... You see Beast right there with the snipe leg. Oh, you're alive. I could pop you right now. Everybody keeps sleeping on Beast. I think the hate towards him is forced because Marvel hates intelligence. They really hate intelligence. They hate everybody who's not uh, moral. <sighs> ben Percy needs to... He needs to stay away from X-Books. If he can just do like a... Like a a Maverick book where he can actually, you know what? Fuck that. Get Ben Percy out of it. If I'm head of X, he's out. Him, Dugan, um, Claremont. It's, yeah, it's, it's all, it's all over if I ever take over. So what do you guys think? Oh, I'm giving this book like a 1.5 out of five stars. This series feels like I'm being dragged. I'm tied up to a car and I'm being dragged through glass. That's how hurtful it is. And I see that Jordan White is the senior editor and he allows this kind type of baloney. This is 1407 Grim Oak and Lane. That's why he's the goat.